hot stuff today. It is hot stuff. Mm. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are we doing? Coming back with another London vlog. Been a while since we've been to London. March, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, was the last time when we did Battersea. Mm. Link in the description below. But today, it is an early birthday for me. My birthday's on Tuesday and I'm working. So, I'm treating today as my birthday. The grand old age of 33. <laughs> And I'm going to a place that I've never been to that I've always wanted to go to and it's always like been tagged on to the end of plans and we've and just, just never done it. <laughs> it's like we want to spend a little bit of time and just enjoy it rather than rush through it. Finally, today's the day. Today, we are going to Harrods. Yay. This is a place that I've always wanted to go, <laughs> but I only want to go and visit the food area, the wine area. I'm not interested in going and looking at all the designer stuff. So we're going to go and have a look around the big food court and all the expensive wines and mm -hmm. things like that and look at the architecture of the building as well. So we're going to spend most of the day there and then... We've got a couple of other bits that we're doing as well. Yes, later on in the evening. So we're going to Neil's Yard. Is it Neil's Yard? Yes, it is Neil's Yeah, Yard. so that really colourful place that has some shops and food and stuff like that. So we're going to wander around there and see what that's all about. And then for noms later, we are going to Seven Dials Market. Again, we wanted to go there last time, but it was closed for some yeah, reason. Monday. Re well, no, 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 refurbishment. Refurbishment. Um, yeah. We wanted to go when we went to Battersea, but it was closed. So today we're going to go there. Yeah, um, you can't book though. you just got to turn up. It's like street food all in the thing with like a court in the middle kind of thing so it might be a case if we might have to wait around for a bit before we can get a seat and some food so yeah fingers crossed we'll be able to do it so if you haven't done so before hit that like button we've got a lot of exciting content coming up make sure you subscribe we've got our summer holiday coming up next week so in the next couple of weeks we're churning out the vlogs like nobody's business we're going down to cornwall so if you like summer holidays in the good old uk mm -hmm. then like and subscribe and you'll see a lot of that cool content coming up absolutely so you better get going oh i'm gonna sweat today it's gonna 30 be degrees in the city i've even got shorts on shorts in london two hours later it'd be bloody warm <sighs> that subway was sweating <laughs> it is warm but sweat now uh, uh, where is it what do you mean where is it if you can see i don't know if you can there it is there i am um we're gonna go around the front but it looks like it's in scaffolding yeah like the famous sign that goes all the way down I'm um, sorry for being blasted out. I'm in the heat of the sun. So shall we go and see if the front's in scaffold? Yeah, yeah we'll go look at the front and then uh, start wandering around so you can look at all your chocolates and your food. Oh my gosh, so excited. So as you can see, guys, we're coming around the front. It's all in bloody scaffolding. So I don't think we're going to be able to see the famous sign that's down the, the corner. Oh. First time we finally do it then. Oh no. It's all the way down. All the way down. So there's your fake carrots. Fake carrots. <laughs> oh, what a shame. That really is a shame, isn't it? Never mind. That means you just have to come back again. Yay! <laughs> Lower ground floor is where all like the wines and cigars are. I want to have a look at that as well. Oh my goodness! Wow, that is mental. <laughs> it's amazing. And look at all the H's and <laughs> Oh it's tacky though, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you think it's a little bit? I mean it's beautifully done. Well it would be. <laughs> Hi security. We'll go up one more. We're not looking at everything, guys. That's what we said. You know, we're only doing the the food, the wine, the cigars. You be careful because it's a short one. <laughs> oh, look at this! Like lovely flowers. People have got their uh, 
That's a good spot to have as a brand. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, no, I, I don't feel very well. Don't do it then. <laughs> Should we go down to the cool a bit? You want food, then? Food. I want to look at the food. It better be cool. So we've decided we're going to do the wines, cigars and liquor first on the lower ground floor. So we're in the basement. I'll come up on. My goodness. Oh, it's so beautiful. <gasps> Gift shop. Arcade. Oh, this way. Have a little look at the gift shop. Take you to the gift shop. You want to buy any Harrods merch? A little Harrods bar. £20. That's not too bad. I thought it'd be more than that. Oh, God, it's ever so soft. £20 again. Which I don't think is too bad for a Harrods bear. Twenty pound. A lot of teddy bears. Well, they're quite renowned for their bears. Oh. Twenty five. Is he? No, Thirty. 30. 30. Okay. The smaller. the smaller one is twenty five. With his Harrods jumper on. Nice little gift for someone. They've got all like the generic London stuff, but the looks of it as well. But I didn't realise. The selection of bears they have. These are nice. Nice designs. Nice tote bag. God, £50. Jesus. £50 for a tote bag. 35 of the clinics. Mm, yeah. What about like just the tumblers? Mm. They not, I'm not saying they're not nice. They do look nice. Mm. But, uh, it's been pretty good. Mm. I don't need a beverage that bad. Oh, I like the mugs, babe. How much are the mugs? Which one? That one? Just the simple Harrods one. Careful. Careful! <laughs> 15. <laughs> mm. I don't think too bad. Oh my god, they even do their own tea towels, aprons. Oh, they've got some really nice designs there. That's a nice apron. That's very classic. 25. Mm. So they do do, by the looks of it, like gift biscuits and marmalades and stuff that you usually get in a gift shop anyway. Um, but I, they'll be much more in the in the actual food hall. That's not bad, £10 for the silk tea bags. Strawberry, chamomile, and then mango. So fruity tea. Obviously in the food hall there'll be a lot more. Oh no, they've got like the proper like English breakfast. That's not bad, £6 for English breakfast too. Mm. 60 bags as well. That's really not bad. Too bad it? Um, I can't remember what I paid in Fortnum and Mason for my English tea. But they also do loose leaf as well, so just bear in mind when you're picking stuff up if it's tea bags or loose leaf. That's nice, that's like classic carrots, isn't it? That's 50 quid though. Oof. Oh, tip tree. Oh, it's in Big, Big Ben or Queen Elizabeth Tower. Oh, that's nice. Oh, soy caramel spread. April four and then strawberry and soy caramel. Nice. How much? Um, I don't know. It was over there. Oh, seven. Oh, cool. They've still got some. Oh, our Liz, Queen Elizabeth II, Platinum Jubilee. They've still got some leftover stuff from. Last year hasn't gone down in price. <laughs> Thirty-five pound. Oh, this is like the proper Harrods bear, the green bear. So many bears! I didn't realise they would be 
so many bears. So if you wanted a, a little Harris bear, which is very cute. 15. Oh, he's soft. He is really soft. So you can get a bear at a cheaper price, 15 pound if you wanted one. Nice keepsake. Don't because I want to take him home and I can't. No, no stop it. Oh, the other one's me. Stop. That's not fair. You know that I can't resist a teddy bear at 33 years old. I thought, oh, you could get a, a nice pet. That would be a cheap one, wouldn't it? £12 for a pen. It does the same stuff. Same stuff as a bar. Hey, it's quite blingy. I couldn't write in it, though. That'd get on my nerves. Um, so, yeah. Pens, 12 of the kings. Oh, but buy two, get the third three. Cheeky bark. Is it? No. <laughs> Oh, so if you wanted an even tinier bear, you can get a key ring. It's not soft. No. It's still cute though, and they've got all different ones. Oh, they've got like a little Scottish one. A little beefy, uh. A little royal bear. Oh. Oh, and the actual Harrods bear <laughs> in the butlers. Champagne. Champagne section. Whoa. Wow. £7,000. What if you dropped it? Or you corked it? Like, how are you supposed to get cork out? Champagne. <laughs> All the different vintages. So it's not called Mullet, is it? It's actually called Mullet. I it's thought that was like the British way yeah, of saying it. <laughs> oh, Lady Gaga's Don Perignon. 2008 vintage. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, smelly things. So you press it out and it smells. Oh, it does smell like tomatoes. And then you've got a coffee one as well. Mmm. Smells good. Mm. Things I've never heard of, to be fair. There is cheaper things, yeah. I mean, I'm not much of a Champagne fan anyway, but, oh. but still. If you wanted to buy like, the wine from Harrods, so you bought it from Harrods, you could... It's, it's not going to break the bank. No. Yeah. So cute. Oh, Come on then. oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
So this is the fresh food. Yeah. Lovely. Thing is, I can't carry uh, meat around London with me. Way out. <laughs> Barbecue with carrots. I wish. I wish I could. I wish I could. Salmon gravelax. Gravelax. It's only because you know it from the other. The lobsters in the back. Farewell, my friends. Farewell. 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 Caviar. What are saying? I mean, 65 is the cheapest. Wow. I've never tried it, always wanted to. I don't know. I'm in two minds about trying something like that. Yeah. See, salmon, I quite like salmon. Have you tried like smoked salmon? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, really it's nice. nice. Oh, I don't like that, fragua. Mm. Oh, see, this is what I really want to like buy. They look quite nice, don't they? They look gorgeous. They look gorgeous salads. Eight pounds. I mean, you know, that's a lot. But that, that could feed two people. I'm sorry. They're massive. You could have a proper nice dinner with that. Making salads look nice. Oh, my God. 18 quid. So 18 quid for the lobster. But that... for the egg. But look at it. So truffle egg brioche eight pound. Prawn cocktail eight pound, but look at the prawns. Twenty-eight pound. Thick old bit of steak in there. I know I'm justifying, aren't I? And then another one, a Wagyu steak sandwich. Look at all the, oh my god, gold leaf. Gold leaf, gravel and caviar. And caviar. It's only 12 quid though. Um, and then we've got sandwich of the month, which is served in tea. Oh wow. Oh. So there's Wagyu fried soft shell crab, Asian <gasps> slaw, teriyaki mayo and a buttered brioche bun. Wow. Looks amazing. Oh, look at these little tiny ones. A little mini picnic roll selection. Fresh fruit and veg. Yeah. It is very overwhelming with the amount of food that's here. I really want to buy so much already. And I have it, I'm having to restrain myself, guys. Because I'm not rich. Oh, wow, look at this lovely fruit. Little snap pots. I wish we were going on, like, a picnic today. Wow, fresh... Fresh waters. Oh, that's not bad. £2.50. It's not bad at all. And then they've got a dragon fruit as well. Is this smooth as a six quid? £2.50 for like infused proper water. Cucumber and mint. Dragon fruit. Lime. The handmade juices and smoothies over there, six quid each. That's not bad. It's only what? A couple of quid more at cost, like Costa and stuff. All the fish, more of the caviar and the. Salmon, salmon looks absolutely amazing. So fresh. But again, I can't, I can't take that all around London with me. So we can't get any fish today. We're not having fish tonight. Wow. See, with stuff like this, I think I'd rather prefer going to Borough Market. Halibut, lemon sole, hot fillet. Green gilt head. And there is no fish smell whatsoever. Well, there is, but it's not overpowered. No. If there's a big fish smell, it's not fresh, but this is very fresh. Oh, island salmon. Fiendish. So 
besides these scallops? First, I say I think I'd rather go Borough Market. What for the fishes? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Paneers. All your fresh salads for your curries. Nans. I wasn't even hungry before I came in here. I'm fucking starving. These are all your ready meals. Um, prices, you're looking at about eight pounds. Wow, fresh pasta. It's lovely pasta. See, I don't know if pasta would hold up either walking around London. Also, like some Asian stuff. Poke. 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 It's not poke, it's poke. Poke. It's spelled. Poke. See, I don't think that's too bad. £9.95. Nine quid, that's a massive dinner. I love chicken katsu as well. Big katsu. £8.95 for the chicken katsu, and I think that's. That's not bad if you want to treat yourself. You've got your dumplings. Wow. Old Beijing duck. Again, I wouldn't come here. I mean, how much is it here? 68 quid. Go to Chinatown. It's only down road. I've got a birthday cake. Yeah, we've got a... Oh, so you just want to get a slice of cake. Okay. They're not set? Oh, six, seven... Yeah, 676. Oh my god. It just wouldn't survive. No, I don't think it would. The five summer patisserie set is £20. Um, they are quite small, but it's absolutely flawless. And I bet they're absolutely gorgeous as well. So if you wanted to treat yourself, £20. Dawn of a new day. It's quite lethal, actually. So these vary in price between 8 and 10. These are a bit more expensive, wow. Mm. Oh, they're reduced. Six quid. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry about that. I had to cut that short. Someone just quietly walked in front of me and took a picture. Um, yeah, I know it's busy, but if you want to like take pictures of stuff, which everyone is because it's beautiful, just bear in mind and be patient and wait your turn. <laughs> Fantova, absolutely beautiful, and I really want to take them home. Oh, these would be perfect birthday cakes. Twenty quid. It's all your beige stuff. <laughs> Oh, the pies. Oh, wow. So much beige. Look at the salads. Oh, my God. You know it's good when there's even the salads look good. Wow. That's amazing. The presentation is flawless. Classic, pork and red onion. Uh, Sorry vegetarian. for the reflection, guys. And jalapeno. That little salmon slice with looks like caviar and gold leaf on top. It looks amazing. How thin the 
things are. What we got? It's like that little salmon thing. Look how salmon cute it is. Oh, look, asparagus. Beef Wellington. So this sort of stuff that, like mashed potatoes. Crab cake. We want our free crab cakes now. <laughs> We've both been stood up. Something that we will not be able to get, we won't be able to wear. Uh, not last in the bag. It won't. It's a hot day in London. I'm not going to be able to bring cheese back as much as I want to. Well, at least we know what's going on now. So next time we stay over in London, then we can get some. Yeah. Or if we know that we're going halfway through the day. I mean, look at that. Look at the gorgon solar. Oh my god. It smells amazing. I love that smell. <laughs> a, lot, a, a lot of people don't like that I love smell. Stinky cheese. I love stinky cheese. Oh no, they've got a lot of fragua, which I don't agree with. That's what it is. That's what it is, fragua. Yeah, it's it's one of the foods that I yeah, I really how expensive like, it is. It's, it's one thing to to naturally kill an animal to eat it, but to force feed it and make it as uncomfortable as humanly possible if you think it tastes well. Mm. Nah, I think it does. It's not worth it. The animal hasn't had a good life before it's died for us to eat. Yeah. Well, we've got butters, but again, it will not last. Wow, oh my goodness. Imagine having that on Christmas morning on your cereal. Oh yeah, organic milk. Do you think that you smell worse? Oh, oh. That's, that's nice. I want to get a basket. Want to get a basket? Yes, please. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at all the other stuff that's not fresh um, and come back here because I want to get some bits. You want to get some bits? Yeah. Okay. If I was going to get one, I think I would get this one. Chocolate and salted caramel, £20. Also, oh, we're getting into the teas. Coffees. You can sit down. Oh, Queen. Sweetie. Oh, no. The lizard people. I'm I love Liz. I still get emotional. Wow, look at the oils in there. Is that real? oils in the big vats. Oh, you'll be good. There's some um, very nice honey, £35. I don't know what's special about it. It's not Manuka honey, but I'm sure it's from very happy bees. Oh my god, rockfish! Rockfish! Oh yeah! Line bay mussels in supplements. Salt. Salt, isn't it? Twenty-two pound. What kind of salt is it? To cure cancer. There is a lot of salt, actually. Very expensive salt. Wow. That is what you call a, a cheap straw. Wow. Oh my goodness. Tomato and cheddar stick. Olive stick. Pretzels. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, I, I think I might have to get a pretzel to take home. How much are they? £4.50. Or a cheese straw. That's Yeah. I know those things up there are all fake, but they still look really cool. They're not fake. I thought they were. It must be. Yeah, I know. That's the, yeah, but look at the difference between that and the one that's up there. They're all perfect. They all look exactly the same. But... Look at that chocolate and hazelnut croissant. Cinnamon rolls. Look at the size of the pan of chocolate. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That's the way it goes. and jelly. Vanilla ring donut. Chocolate ring. 
that cinnamon one looks nice. I mean, come on, I have to get an almond one, four pounds. We can easily share that. Discovering a new thing. A donut. Donut hybrid with a croissant. There we go. Big bugger. Yeah, big bugger. Yeah, yeah. Here's your coffee. Oh no, look, you can, I think you can take them away. What are these? They're on offer, £2.25. They're tea bags. I'm actually high in caffeine. Hmm. So you got loads of different roasts. You've got Knight's Bridge roast, you've got Blend 39, Breakfast Blend, Signature Blend, Nice. Um, so the bigger ones, 25 quid, but the smaller ones at £12.50. So, same price as Liberty. Oh. because they don't do them anymore or the particular till that we went to didn't do them anymore so the cheapest bag they had was six pound but i suppose it's a nice pizza yeah it's a nice shopping bag um, and we got some less yeah which we'll obviously we'll show you at the end of the video it took less than i thought it was quite busy towards the end i really thoroughly enjoyed it and um, obviously we'll show you our wares when we get back and i'll talk more about it when we get back we're going to try and figure out what to do now. Um, okay. The next part of our plan was to go down to Neil's Yard and Seven Dials. So I think we might just wander down there to Copper Garden area and have a wander around. Yeah, because I mean, I'm thirsty. I could do with either a pint or something. Ooh. Maybe a bit of Camden. A bit of Camden Ales. A birthday beer. Birthday beer. Ah. Oh. I am. Um, I want anyone yeah. that's coming to Covent Garden. Wait for the lift. <laughs> Not those 197 steps. I didn't realise it's 197. <laughs> We're sweating. Oh, everybody was knackered coming off it. So, but we've earned that point. Cheeky point. <laughs> oh, yeah. What you got? I went and got my ass That's full. Net oil. Healthy. Um, not too far actually. From where did we? No, just literally just down there. What was it? Cross Keys. We had a couple of pints. Yeah. Lovely little pub. Um, literally around the corner. We got Neil's yard. Neil's yard right there. Right there, and then opposite. Seven Dollars Market. It's where we're going to spend the remainder of our time um, before we need to get to Houston. I want to get to Houston for about six. The reason I'm looking like this is because it's hot. Yeah. I had to put the air up. So humid. <clears throat> Okay. 
Have you seen up there? What? On Monty Python. It's where they wrote it. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, if you have a look, it's where they live. Did not know that. So they used to live up there? It's so that's where they wrote the sketches. Wow. There you go. Nice place to live. If it wasn't for Monty Python, we wouldn't have the kind of comedy we have now. Yes. They moved the world on as far as comedy is concerned. And if anyone thinks differently, you're wrong! You're wrong. Kind of person. So we a weirdo. <laughs> Pizzas. <laughs> right, tell us if we're wrong, guys, but I mean, that looks like a Banksy to us. I don't know. If we're wrong, we're wrong, but it looks like one. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Wine bar, Casanova and Daughters. Hey, what? It's really reasonable. So obviously they specialise in wine, um, but they do some sparkling, some cocktails. Um, and we're having a little nibble nibble. It is warm now. It is still warm. warm. <laughs> I'm so happy you made me wear shorts. <laughs> Why, what was I thinking, thinking about well, wearing in jeans? London, I don't want to wear shorts, why? I thought it might be too vulnerable, I don't know. I don't know. Get your legs out yeah. for the last. <laughs> so it's yeah. a Neil's Yard Escape yeah. cocktail. So it's basil flower, syrup, gin and prosecco. Um, and then I've got an apple spritz, which I've, which I've never had before. You're being bougie. I am being bougie. And then we also got ourselves some little bread and oil. Bread and oil? Yeah. Bread and oil. Bread and oil. So what you having? Apple spritz, which I've never had before, but our friend Beth swears by them quite a lot. Let's see if she's got good taste. Yeah, it's alright. Not as fruity as you thought it'd be. Not as fruity as I thought it'd be, but it no. tastes nice. So the bread and oil was £4, which I think is cheap as chips. I know the oil is gorgeous. Oil is really nice. It's a little bit of a fruit, you know. So it's proper olive oil, that's why. Mm. Prinos and daughters. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's Casanova. Casanova, sorry. <laughs> Something like that. Um, so we had our little bread and olives, uh, uh, bread and olive oil, and I had the Neil Jard Ooh. remedy and no, I had an absolute spritz. How much was it? 21. That's good. Not too bad. We're in the centre of London. Oh, absolutely amazing. And she even came out because we had a bit of olive oil left. So do you, any, do you want any more bread? We're like, no, no, because we're saving ourselves for the main event. Um, but lovely vibe. And yeah, it was really chill. It was nice. It was like being on holiday. It was really, it's really nice. nice when you're near with us. Chilled out. I give it five out of five. Of course you have kids. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I suppose big up bread and oil, but the olive oil is beautiful. I go five star. I think five star. It's really because nice. it's just bread and oil. Oh yeah, I mean, it's meat in it. I'm, I'm a meaty man. <laughs> but we um, we were sitting next to some um, people that were having like the burrata and the it other sort of like looks. So it good. did look good. And if we weren't going to Seven Dials, we would have filled up on the little small place. And it was cheap. And it was family run, really nice place. So if you're in Neil Shard, no. you want a little bit of. How's that even possible? Yeah, a little bit of some, something with a nice wine or a nice cocktail. Highly recommend. Yeah. Time for Seven Dials Market, which is literally just over there. So, time for food. Oh, I smell. Oh my. <laughs> It's just one of the places. There's a cheese on the yard and there's a banana. The main bit. All upstairs. Jesus, I didn't realise it was this big. I thought it was quite small. I'm looking at the main bit. Banana warehouse. Wow. I mean, this is huge. Look at 
Look how massive it is! I generally didn't think it was this big. I didn't think it was this massive. So, well, we need to find a table somehow. So that, that's the cheese bar. And it's literally a conveyor belt of cheese, which I think we might be hitting. Made it. Made it. Made it. Straight away, like pretty decent. I thought it'd be all reserved out, but yeah, we've got ourselves a little, little bit of cheese conveyor belt going on. Okay, so they're all numbers, so you can see the. Uh... Yeah, so basically you've got your numbers on your menu, and then those numbers match what is inside the thing. So obviously the different colours means different prices as well. Yeah. It's daunting, isn't it? But if nothing else, it's really cool just to see a conveyor belt of cheese. Let's say we've gone for Cornish Gouda. It looks like a bit of fudge on there. Yeah. My goodness. So basically, you take your plates and you keep your plates, and then they total it up at the end. What's the donut thing? Twenty-six. Wimps rosemary goat cheese donut. 625. Oh, it's not worth 625. What's the next one? Number five's coming in, Gene. Book a seat. Number five's coming in, look. Okay, three for now. We'll see how we go. So yeah, number five was the ricotta. That one. Number seven was the cordis gouda, which I think is that one. And then the other one was the which goat cheese. Thank you. Cheers. So obviously with the ricotta we've got cherry. Yeah. Seven we've got cream fudge. Whoa. And that looks like Turkish delight to me. Oh no. Bit of good cheese. Supposed to pair well, so you might well, as well. Yeah, might as well do it. Oh, sticky. Uh oh, the eyes. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let, oh, me, yeah. let me talk to you. Yeah. Because <laughs> you've got such a smoothness of like, and the saltiness of that. But then the sweetness and the... Is it Turkish delight? Yeah. Yeah. It's really paired well together. Really nice. Can I get on it? Yeah, get on it. No, I don't like Turkish delight. But I'm not a massive fan myself. It's good, isn't it? It's a good mix. Are you supposed to put the fudge on with it? I'm assuming so. I'm scared. <laughs> Why? Because you think it'd be weird? It is probably good. Well. Well, they say you compliment it, so... Does it work? Is it really good? Really nice balance, it goes back and forth to that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. The more, the more it goes in. Yeah. Again, this looks like quite a sweet one again. Really like. Yeah. Not very cheesy. No. 
It's nice. It's not ricotta. It's ricotta though, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's nice, but the only problem is with the cherry. Like, although it complements it quite nice because it's that's the tan. It kind of takes over a little bit. Yeah. Only a little bit. Okay. Tell me. Like a cheesecake. So, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's like a dessert. Yeah. yeah. The last one. The 24. And it's got some biscuit with it. Uh, so, what is it? It's Cornish curd. Served with? Hard cheese, and it's served with brown butter biscuit. Oh my. So, We're going for all sweet ones. Wait, really? Here we go. Oh, that's sweet. It smells really sweet, that biscuit. No? Yeah? Complex? Complex. Yeah, it's a perfect balance of sweet and salt. Yeah? Really, really nice. Honestly, but it balances it really well. Yeah? Mm. I mean, it's, uh, it smells sweet. You'll get the sweet hit first, I think. It's just suddenly the salt cuts in, doesn't it? It's weird, isn't it? It's weird how good it tastes. It's like, the longer you have it in. Yeah, the more, more happens. Good, isn't it? Oh. Chicken. Chicken. Get some more food, try and find somewhere to sit. Chicken burger. Burn, bad boy, pizza, truffle burger. There's so much choice. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells lovely. So, what's this? It was like fried chicken thighs with like guava and habanero and mayo and skinny rice. Shit to the slaw of pickles. Wow. Well. Sorry for the banging music. It's going in. <laughs> No? It was just sweet and crunchy. Oh. Like the, putting the lime on top was a really good idea. Yeah. It slides through nicely and then you've just got this really sweet crunch of the chicken. Oh, that is some, that is some banging thighs. A pickle, a little pickle. Yeah? They're good. Mm. Nice little fries. Oh. Solid chicken, though. So, that's some stuff. What do we What do we get? So from Yum Yums, we got pork and chai gyozas in a chili sauce. Five to six pounds, so cheap. It's nice. It smells lovely. Yeah, it does smell good. Down in one. Oh, that's instant. Nice. That was emotional. <laughs> That's some essence. The spice is there, but it's literally it's on the cusp. Oh, that's spicy, but there, lovely flavour. Quite hot as in temperature. Okay. Okay. Get that oil in. Marrow 
and they did. Yeah. On, on the cusp? Yeah, like it's a tiny bit of spice, but it's literally, it just, it just dances around the edges of all the other flavour. Yeah. Uh, oh. That's packed. Nice, isn't it? Of flavor, that is. Six pounds for five. So seven dollars market. We've only just scratched the surface. Yeah, here. we barely touched it. Uh, we had a few picks. We had the the one that I really wanted to go to was the cheese um, pick and mix cheese thing. That was, fun. That was really fun. We got in straight away on a. Um, three o'clock Saturday, so that was good. Um, and then we had some chicken. Chicken at the I, I poultry. I can't remember. What it's called. Something. I can't remember. But um, yeah, some chicken there, and then we went to Yum Bun as well. And yum Yum. Yum Yum. No, it's Yum Bun. I thought it was Yum Yum. No, it's Yum Bun. Yum Yum. Um, and we had some gyozas. Yeah. And, and they're just amazing. Like we'll, we'll give you a full amazing. review as soon as we get home. We highly recommend Seven Dollars now. We've walked past it before. Yeah, we've not noticed it. it's been here, so. Yeah, no, we really like, appreciate oh. how we can have. Oh, yeah, sausage dog. Oh, it's beautiful sausage dog. So, yeah, we really appreciate that. This is somewhere you can go and just sit and eat and drink and everything. I you don't, don't have to go anywhere. It's too bad. No, not, not overly. It's for London, it's really not that bad. No, no, it's mid range, I think. But So, yeah, we're going to have a wander around and see, see if we see anything else yes. before we head home. So, this is. The actual seven dials. Oh, so, tower in the middle, and then seven different options to wander oh, down. Seven different options. Seven different re ways to get lost. A lot of people um, on the boom buggies that will absolutely fleece you for money. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't advise that. Uh, I've heard one time. There's a hendo over there. For a five minute journey, they charged on £90. Woohoo! So you got Matilda on at the minute as well. Oh, hendo. Hendo. Get your hendo. Get your boomer. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Pop into Chinatown, you say? Yes, I'm trying. With seven options, I don't know. With seven options, I don't know how to get there. <laughs> I mean, we're in Chinatown. Fucking hell, is it busy? Yeah. <laughs> award winning game. Award winning? Award winning? Yeah. What are we going for? The bakery? The bakery. The bakery. The Chinese bakery. bakery. Oh. What, Chinatown Bakery? Yeah. The one over there, yeah? yeah. Alright, go on then. And what is the reason we are going in here? Well, it's been great. Uh, who recommended? Shoe. 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 It's very busy. Is. Absolutely rammed. Go on. So you're going to a pound bone cake? Is that what it's called? Okay, I'm going to get the triangle one. The triangle vanilla. Am I going to get the Get this one. Oh my god. The are Oh. Wow. Oh yeah. It's light, isn't it? Are they doing the fish? Look, the fish up there. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So I will get my birthday cake. You will get a birthday cake. <laughs> so I'll make sure it doesn't get beaten up. That'll nah, be fine. Show you our wares. Hello. It's We're been back. a it's been a long hot day. That in the was city. that was a long journey home. 
It yeah. felt awful. It just oh, it wouldn't end because I think I'm so tired. Yeah, and so hot. And the the subway, the underground thing, that was the worst underground experience ever. Terrible. It was so busy. It was so sweaty and warm. I could taste people's genitals. Oh, darling! <laughs> it was fucking it's awful. Really stomach. It was literally just throat. like this. The yeah. handrail. Like, but we weren't even near each other because we had people just pile in, so I wasn't even standing near him. But anyway, yeah. we're going to do a quick sign off because I need to get in the shower. Yes. I am a sweaty mess. So, let me show you our wares. Yeah, you haven't bought anything. Well, I bought all the food that we ate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I bought the wares. Uh, so we got a few bits and bobs you saw earlier, a few bits and bobs from Harrods. Yeah, I mean, the, the bag, obviously, I think it needs to be shown based on the fact that it was six bloody quid. And that was the only bag they had. It was Hesse. I mean, it's quite a strong Hessian kind of durable bag, so it's not like it's going to go to the bin. Yeah, it'd be a shopping bag, but yeah. it's six quid and there was no option of any other bag. Mm. And I was foolish to not bring my own bag, so I know for next time. Anyway, we'll start off with the little, like, breakfast bit that I am very excited to try. So what was this called? A do donut or cross nut or something. <laughs> I don't know. A donut, I think. A donut. No, a do I, I don't know. Press on. I don't no. know. So it's a hybrid. Um, so it is a croissant, which I love, and a sugar donut, yeah, yeah. which I love. So we're looking forward to giving that a go. Yeah, so I think it's just a very sweet. Oh, it smells like. Oh, Did you actually put your nose? I in accidentally. The I accidentally <laughs> sweet nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I bought this because it's cheap as chips, two pound fifty. Oh, yeah. It, oh, he's very floppy it's now. Floppy, but it's a cheese straw, like a cheese twist thing. You can smell it. That smells nice. But he's a bit floppy. He's a bit sad. Because he's been in the heat all oh, day. Bless him. He needs to go in the, in the bin. Uh, in bin? The, no, the bread bin. I mean the bread bin. Sorry, I'm very hot and bothered. So then we got some beige bits. A scotch egg and a sausage roll. We got the pulled pork and apple jam, like, staple of a Harrods trip. Their sausage rolls. Uh, five quid... Um, so it's a lot for a sausage roll, really. But it is. But we paid five quid for the ginger pig. That's true. And I think that might be a bit bigger than the ginger pig. Whether or not it's going to be better is the question. Yeah, that is the question. Um, I don't think it will. But we might be surprised. And then this was chosen by Adam on spare of moments. Uh, yes, yeah, so for the pork and red onions, Scotch egg. Sniffing it all out. Oh, it smells nice. It's it's nice. Yeah, so. Little scotch egg. Little scotch egg tucked into. Oh, I look massive. Big fan. Big fan of scotch egg. Big fan of a scotch egg. <laughs> um, I wanted to get a sandwich. There was so much there to choose a, there was for. A lot of from, but we had to pick one that we knew would travel well. So we think we picked the right one because it did travel quite well because it's all wrapped up. Yeah. But it's a salted beef bagel. And what does it. It doesn't say what it has. Um, so I know that it's got beef, gruyere cheese, and um, some salad. Sauerkraut. Oh yeah, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, and then there's a mustard mayo in there, I Maybe. think. Maybe. I think. Um, six quid. Quite expensive. Yeah, I mean, but again, but it's one of the cheapest. One of the cheapest. Yeah, there's a lot more expensive. There's like a lobster roll that was like eighteen pound, and it weren't even that big. There was certain turf that was eighteen. But there is quite a reasonable amount of the salt beef of salt there. beef in there, so you don't they don't skimp on the ingredients. No, we. Stumbled across Chinatown. It wasn't in our plans, but I wanted to go, seeing that we were so close. I thought, oh, we'll just wander in. So we went to a, a little Chinese convenience store that was Si Wu. I think it was called Si Wu. Yeah. Picked up some white bars. I wish it was closer to us. Now, we love a noodle. Fast. You know, when you come home from work, you just put a bit of chicken on. Add a bit of noodle. So we got a couple of noodles. So this is instant oriental style pork flavour. And they were like 40p. And then Adam treated himself. Now I won't touch this because this is... Seafood. This is not me. It's a seafood ramen. Um, but it's a big old thing. I think that was about £1.10. Yeah. So it's a big old 
Big old thing, and there you go. Um, Still have a nerd on. And then you picked up a nice big bastard box. I know. Sweet hoisin sauce. I think it was like two, two quid. Two quid. Yeah. What? <laughs> Can't even get it in like Asda for that. No. So yeah, but sweet hoisin and Adam loves the Hansen, oh, so big fan. <laughs> big fan. Um and then I was thirsty, um so I got and you saw on the train a little mango drink. Um Which it you've was, already had. It wasn't the best. No. I took one sip and I was like Ugh! It was like milky mango water. Yeah. Did not like it. Not, not, not a fan. I thought it would have been more of a, a yogurt drink, but it wasn't. It was just a milky, watery mango. I drank it because I was hot. So thirsty. The more you drank it, the more it was all right, but I will not purchase again. <laughs> um, and then you got one more thing, didn't you, when you went to that bakery that she recommended to you? Oh yeah, so we wandered into the um, like Chinese bakery. I think it was just it called was, the Chinese bakery. It was just called the Chinese bakery. It did have Chinese writing as well, so it could be called something, but in English it was just the Chinese bakery. It was hotter than the Sahara Desert in there. And you couldn't get out. Like once you were in the queue, it was, that was it, because it was so filled small. in. It was just like... Uh, I don't know how the girls were no there. No idea, no idea. Because it was so warm but i've always wanted to try it i've seen it quite a lot on like youtube videos and stuff um it's a pandan cake but i got the vanilla one not the pandan flavor but it's like the softest yes yeah, it's, it's hard to tell on screen but like because it just looks like a victoria sponge but it's it's so, it's so fluffy and light pillowy eee. i don't i don't know i don't know how to describe it so it's just vanilla a little tiny vanilla cream in there but it uh, it's just lighter than air lighter. and i thought i really wanted to get a cake for my birthday but it wouldn't have traveled from harrods but this has traveled really well because it's just pretty much intact isn't it it's nothing really right you're squeezing it comes back out <laughs> <laughs> um, like a memory foam pillow yeah like a memory foam pillow and i think that was like one pound fifty chinatown is so cheap I know everyone says it. Everyone says trying to so cheap, but it really is. So that concludes the sweatiness that was London my birthday summer. in London. Oh, it was a good day. It was really nice. I think it would have been even more... It was quite a relaxing kind of chilled day of pottering about anyway, but I think it would have been even more relaxed and chilled if it wasn't so goddamn hot. Yeah. So that, that just kind of made us a bit more tired than we really ought to be. And of course, we went, you know, Chinatown, Leicester Square area, really busy. Mm. Oh, yeah, Chinatown Very busy. Really, um, really busy. But that's our fault. It was, you know, six o'clock on a Saturday night. So, of course, those parts of London are going to be very busy. But we're home now. Thank you for, for watching this video. I hope it's given you some inspiration on something mm. to do if you did want a little poodle down to London for the day. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. We did. Oh, I, I loved Harrods. I want to go back there already. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Um, I want to go specifically just to go and buy food and then get the train back so we're not there all day. Like, literally go in the morning, be back by lunchtime. So you can eat it. So I can buy all the food. <laughs> like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We really appreciate it. It really helps our channel out and gives us... Uh, more gusto to get out and do some more content the for more you guys. The more views and subscribers we get, the more content we will produce. But uh, keep an eye out, because as I said at the start of the video, we've got our summer holiday coming up. This time next week we will be on our summer holiday. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Um, also, make sure you find us on TikTok as well, uh, and buy me a coffee. Uh, that's slowly ramping up bit by bit, tiny Yeah, bit. we've made enough now that we can actually w withdraw, yeah. um, but we're keeping it in we'll there. Keep building it up. Yeah. Uh, and so. then, yeah, find us on all the socials, and as, as the wife said, like and subscribe, and we will be back very, very soon for more content. Happy birthday to me. That's it before. See you after. Take care, guys.